Here's the handoff to the third leg. Michael Johnson Ooh, trying risky. to erase his disappointment in these games. Risky handoff, 43.1. That ties the fastest 400-meter leg in history for Quincy Watts. They're ahead of world record pace. You see the gap between the U.S. and the second-place British. A 44-second average per man would give you the world record. Right now, they're below that average. Michael Johnson used to anchoring the great teams at Baylor. And here he's running what would be like an anchor leg at Baylor. They're usually out ahead. He's out ahead. But it's going to be Steve Lewis who will determine whether the U.S. team gets the world record or not. Michael Johnson of the U.S., a big lead over Great Britain and Cuba. Here's Steve Lewis, silver medalist in the 400, a gold medal winner in Seoul in the 400. He's going to run the anchor and set sail for that world record. 44.8 for Johnson. So they're off the world record pace now. It's going to take a great run by Steve Lewis to get it. Lewis second in the open 400. Steve Lewis has a huge lead. And as he turns into the straightaway, he's chasing a world record. Steve Lewis of the U.S. This will be an overwhelming victory. All that's left now to run against is the clock. Steve Lewis powers to the finish line. All eyes go to the clock. Yes! He got it! He got it! Olympic record for the U.S. team. The U.S. team set the world record in 1968. It took a team 20 years to tie it at the Seoul Olympics, but four years later, these four guys have smashed the record. Wearing shoes of gold, the man who would be king, Michael Johnson, Waco, Texas, attempting to do what no man has ever done in Olympic competition, win both the 400 and 200 meters. This is the 400 meter final. Michael Johnson with his first steps toward track immortality. Michael Johnson taking it out fairly casually right now as they swing around the back stretch. We haven't seen him going full speed in any of the qualifying rounds. He's been holding back, trying to save something perhaps for this final in the 200 meters, but he's running now. Now he's kicked it into gear, and Michael Johnson reaches back. Coming to the head of the straightaway, and Michael Johnson has the lead. Now through the straight, and Michael Johnson opens up a huge advantage. Michael Johnson is for, and he's cruising for the finish. Michael Johnson coming home all by himself. Michael Johnson is halfway to history. 43-49. A new Olympic record for Michael Johnson. This was not a victory. He demolished the best 400 meter runners in the world. Nothing particularly smooth, nothing particularly relaxed about the way Michael Johnson runs. It's controlled fury around the turn and pure power in the straightaway. Flash bugs flashing, Otto Bolden away well. So is Frank Fredericks, and here comes Michael Johnson. They're approaching the top of the straightaway. Michael Johnson reaching deep. He has the lead, but Fredericks is still there, and so is Otto Bowman. But Michael Johnson has dead aim on the finish. Michael Johnson running for the line and into Olympic history. A new world record. He set a world record. He destroys his old record. In fact, he ran so quickly, he almost didn't see the time that he ran. He came out for his debut in the golden shoes, and they were prophetic. This race proves that he is a man for the history books. The first man to win the 400 and the 200. The men's 400 meter approaches. That means Michael Johnson will put the golden shoes in motion. The golden shoes that we remember so much from Atlanta, but this time with real 24 karat gold woven in. They've called him Superman. Maybe they're right. Six. 400 meter final is underway. Michael Johnson, Alvin Harris, and Antonio Pettigrew. Three U.S. runners, and Michael Johnson takes it out quickly. He's already made the move in the stagger up on the South African athlete out in lane seven. He's moving well, Tom. Michael Johnson with that familiar upright running style that is so efficient. 
and the golden shoes are flashing, and they're in the turn for home, and Michael Johnson has the lead. Alvin Harrison coming up to challenge him. Antonio Pettigrew is there. Here they're into the home straightaway, and up on the outside, it's Gregory Houghton of Jamaica. But no, they won't catch Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson, Harrison in the second. Michael Johnson will win another, and once again cement his place as an all-time great. Michael Johnson, the first to repeat as Olympic 400 meter champion. My Olympic career has been great. Three, three Olympics, all gold. <laughs> Very proud of that, as you can tell. And here's Michael Johnson in his final Olympic lap of the track. Michael Johnson takes it with a big lead. The flash bulbs flash, and Michael Johnson is on his way. The last time we'll see that familiar upright running style in the Olympic Games. A man who has made so much Olympic history. Here he is down the back stretch for the final time. The U.S. in front. Bahamas second, Jamaica third, Nigeria fourth. The world record holder in 400 with a baton. And here he comes out of the curve into the straightaway. Michael Johnson saying goodbye to the Olympics the best way he knows with his feet. Golden shoes flashing. Here he comes to the line. The U.S. will win. Michael Johnson, a runner for the ages. And the U.S. has the gold. And the teammates with a quiet moment after collecting the gold medal. And it was a good team effort. I'll miss it. I, I know I will, but, uh, you know, I've had my time. And, uh, I came in on top, and I want to go out on top. So uh, I'm sure in Athens I'll be there watching these guys. So I'll be cheering them on. I'll be the cheerleader.